This is the seventh video on polynomials where we're going to have a look at using everything we've done in um, the previous six videos with regards to sketching graphs and use that to solve some problems. So, here's the first one. It says, on the same diagram, sketch the curves with the equation y equals x times x minus 3 and y equals x squared times x minus 1. So, this is a quadratic. I know that because if I was to expand the brackets out, I'd get an x squared. I know if it's going to go through at uh, 0 and at 3, I know it's going to be a U shape because if I was to expand this out, I'd get a positive x squared. So that's going to look something like this. Right, uh, let's just label that up. On the other hand, this is a cubic. I know that because if I was to expand those brackets out, I'd get x squared minus x cubed. So the highest power is, cu is, is 3. It's, it's a cubic. Um, because it's a minus x cubed, I know it's going to be going down, then up, then down. I know it's got a repeated root at 0. And I know it's also going to go through at 1. So I know it's going to look something like this key thing I need to think about is what's going to happen over here. Is it going to be above the red line? Is it going to go below the red line? Or are they going to cross over at some point? Well, let's just think about this for a minute. When x is large, I know that x cubed is going to be much larger than x squared. However, when x is small, when I get very close to zero, I know that x cubed is going to be smaller than x squared. Because if I cube a small number, I'm going to get a smaller number. So I know that it, as x is big, my blue line is going to be above the red line. When x is small, uh, my blue line is going to be below the red line. So it's going to look more, it's going to look something like this. Where I've got a repeated root there. So that's what comes back up. So I can see my lines crossed in three places here here and here. Right, part B. Find the coordinates of the points of intersection. So find these three coordinates. Well, I already know one of them is 0, 0. But let me find the other ones. Um, the y coordinates are going to be equal to each other. So let's make x times x minus 3 equal to x squared times 1 minus x. So we're just solving it like we would any simultaneous equation. So let's expand out the brackets. Okay. Uh, now the x squared is going to cancel from both sides. Let's bring the x cubed over to the left hand side so it becomes positive. And we get that. I can factorise this and so I know that either x equals 0 or x squared equals 3. So from this I know if I square root both sides I know that x will equal plus or minus because remember when you square root you get a positive and a negative answer. So plus, uh, plus or minus root 3. So I've got three um, solutions. I've got minus root 3, which would be that coordinate there. I've got 0 here. And I've got root 3 here. So these are the three x coordinates. It does say find the coordinates there. So I should substitute each of these in to either one of these to work out the y coordinates as well. Uh, well, this one here, I already know the y coordinate, that's 0, so I've got 0, 0. Um, if I substitute root 3 into, into either one of these, doesn't matter which one, um, I'm going to substitute into the first one, so I will get y equals root 3 times root 3 minus 3. Root 3 times root 3 is 3, and 3 times root 3. So this coordinate here is the coordinate root 3, 3 minus 3 root 3. 
and this coordinate over here, um, we need to substitute minus root 3 in now. So y equals minus root 3 times minus root 3 minus 3. Minus root 3 times minus root 3 is just 3. And then we get minus root 3 times minus 3. So I get a plus 3 root 3. So this coordinate is root 3, 3 plus 3 root 3. So that's the first coordinate. Then I've got 0, 0. And that's that coordinate there. Done. Next. I need to sketch the curves y equals 4 over x squared. Well, I know that looks like this. So that's my y equals 4 over x squared. And then I'm going to sketch this. Uh, x squared times x minus 3. So this is a cubic. It's got a repeated root here. It's going to be a positive, if I was to expand this out, I'd have a positive x cubed. So I know it goes up, back down, and it's going to cut through at 3. It's going to get up here, repeated roots of back down, up through like that. Right. There's my sketch, that's part A done. Part B, using your sketch, state with a reason the number of real solutions to this equation. Now, to begin with, this equation seems a bit random. x to the power 4 times x minus 3 minus 4 equals 0. Well, it says using my sketch, so this is going to have something to do with this and the sketch. It's probably referring to where these graphs intersect, probably. But I do just want to check that. So where these graphs would intersect, what's that got to do with this equation? So if I were to make these two equal to each other, is this where these two graphs intersect? Is it the same as this? Well, what would I do? I could times by x squared. So x squared times x squared would be x to the power 4. And then I would sub subtract 4. And so this is the same as this. So yes, this does refer to where the graphs intersect. So in terms of how many solutions, there is 1. And the reason that I would write down is because the graphs intersect at one point and then I would show my working out with the equations to prove that this equation refers to where the lines intersect and therefore one intersection means one solution to that equation.